Hollywood, in a land called Acme. One celebrity will find themselves with the opportunity of a lifetime. The chance to play their dream role. The only catch is, there is no set, there is no budget, and there is no script. Will this be a dream role or a nightmare? Let's find out tonight in our exciting presentation of Hollywood Dream Roll. Starring Chelsea Crisp, Beth Leckby, Michael Perkins, Travis Ritchie, Ian Tyndall, Kristen Truxis. And tonight's guest star, Donovan Scott. Now, welcome to the stage, your director, Joseph Limbaugh. discovers all these possibilities and then what happens to him and by all that power what happens to that power and where does he go from there <laughs> <laughs> well tonight we're going to see all of that without the sleeping at the end <laughs> we awesome. no sleeping. Uh, no sleeping. all right so uh you uh, did you get the thing from them all right what what are you pointing at I'm not, I don't know, oh, uh, okay, so tonight we're seeing the Telephone Company Repairman. Let's see that.
are somewhere in England, uh, because this is a 1940s style production. So we, uh, we go there, and uh, we see a man there, and he's uh, down on his luck, and uh, let's see, uh, he's come there with a co-worker who's not very nice to him. Uh, so they come into the bar, and there's a bartender as well uh, uh, at that bar, and uh, we'll see that scene now. Action. Well, thanks for coming out with me, but... Yeah, well, thanks, is, thanks for having me. Thanks, thanks very much for bringing me along. My this is uh, more of a youthful adventure. Really? It's not going to make you any younger. Well, hopefully I'll meet someone younger. <laughs> Probably not. It, <laughs> it's <laughs> tough when you're older than the hills. Oh. You know. Well, I'm not actually older than the hills, that really. Well, but you're as useless as, usual. As, <laughs> as the hills. Yes, you're right there. Thank you which, so much. You know, it's all, you know, I'm just trying to be a good friend to you. Well, well, you know, and I appreciate that. You know, we work together at the, uh, uh, you know, at, at, at the, the... Telephone repair company. I knew that. Just let me finish. You always finish like it's sentences Because for me. old age has slowed you down. What is this thing about age all the time? You're young. You've got a lot to live for. Don't pick on the old people. Yeah, but it makes me feel younger to pick on you. Well, well great then. Can I have another? All right, ladies. Last call. All right, I'll have two then. I've got to go home to the wife. Well, I have three. All right. Because I'm young. Thank you. Oh, well, oh. all right. Uh, well, thank you very much. Thank you. That always happens to me. Something all right, feels Chester. Good. Yes. A toast. Yes, Philip. To be an old and useless but still alive, which that'll give you credit for. Oh, thank you, Philip. You're so kind. An attractive lady enters. Well, I guess I'll go home now. And just... Thanks for bringing me out. What's the problem, I... Chester? Oh. Hi. Hi. I'm just here from America. Uh. Barkeep, can you get me whatever you Englanders uh, drink? Guinness? Oh, wrong country, right? <laughs> <laughs> Guinness will be fine. You, you can have a Guinness, whatever you like, whatever she'd like. He's buying. Yeah, because he's young. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and virile. <laughs> Excuse me. Yes. Uh, look at that over there. Is that a dead rat? Right, right over there. That's right, a dead rat. So, what are you, what are you doing here? Oh, um, it's I'm... more like a spot. So nice, he's young. Oh, not like you, you're more experienced, right? Yes, oh, I am, I'm, I'm very experienced. Well, you know, in, in America, yes. we're a young country and we don't really appreciate things that are old, but I do. Oh, thank you. You know, do you like old movies? Oh, I do. I love American old movies. The silent kind? Of course, what else is there? I just had a question that popped in my head. Oh, really? I hope it didn't hurt so seriously. <laughs> what, 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 what? Would what you like to have, question? would you like to have sexual intercourse? Oh, oh me first. <laughs> no, I, I don't know, I asked it first. Philip, I'm older, old before young. After, it's one of those, you know what it is. <laughs> With you? But... <laughs> well, you've got a choice here. Yes, you do. I it's England, you have to sleep with one of us. <laughs> Experience or inexperience? All right, I've heard enough. You get the hell out of my pub. Oh, shh. You're all right. It's my wife, my wife, my... <gasps> We've got to go Your now. Wife? Oh. 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 Don't you ever, ever speak to me again. Yeah. All right, we go now to uh, we go now to his home. He's on his way home, and uh, he runs into his ex-wife out front uh, of the home. Um, that's not it. Uh, <laughs> how about this? Sure. Oh. Yeah, that's outside of his home. Good. All right. So he runs into his ex-wife and his his, his daughter. That's a picture of you. And action. Thank you. Oh, who 
here he comes. Oh, um, hello, honey. Oh. Hello, sweetheart. Good to see you, sweetheart. Don't touch her. Sorry. Hello, you, Chester. <coughs> yes, Elizabeth. Do you know that we were just kicked out of the flat? Do you know that you haven't given us money? Uh, I, I don't have any money. I'd give it to you. No, I would. I always do. Right, of course you say that. Yes. And then you drink it away. I don't want you to hear this. Cover your ears, your beautiful ears. <laughs> oh, every time you say that, I do. All right. Come on, then. You know what? You know, Ethel, beauty's no. gone now. You She's know. only 15. <laughs> well, she could get a job, can't she? Listen, I don't want to fight about the daughter except for the fact that you are supposed to take care of her. I do take care of her. No, you're a drunkard. Well, uh, we got kicked out of the flat. I heard that. I don't have to have that repeated. I'm not deaf, you know. No, well, where are you going to put us up? Well, I can put you right up there if you want. You know what? That's right. I'm oh, sick of it. I'm sick of it. I'm sick of you picking on me and yelling at me. You never got a job. You got pregnant. And then we had to get married, didn't we? Oh, then we had Miss Pretty Ears over there. <laughs> Do you remember what you told me right before I got pregnant? Yes. What? <laughs> Are you pregnant? No, before I got pregnant. Oh, oh, before. No, I don't remember that far back. Did I say something important? You told me you love me and you take care of me forever. I was drunk. You believe that all the time? <laughs> oh, now, yes, go on, cry. Go on, cry in her pretty ears, why don't you? Mother, how'd it go? It went great. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, good. Your daddy's a great, great man and he's going to come around and take care of us. That's right. Even though we're divorced, it's fine. But we're you have to take care of your daughter. You told her we're divorced? She knew we got kicked out of the house and you haven't been here for six months. <laughs> but she's not that intelligent. She's got only ears there to make a No, 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 no. Look at that shiny thing, I daughter. Mean, I don't know. It's don't shiny. Don't know it's you shiny. Don't, know. I know. don't ever. Shut up. <laughs> I'm sorry, I don't mean to beat you all the time. I just can't help it. Your face looks like a bunch of bag. Oh. <laughs> Listen to me. Just that you have face. made nothing of yourselves. Of yourselves. Self. I'm seeing double because you're drunk. And I'm seeing double because I'm drunk. Right. I didn't mean that. You've made nothing of yourself. And you know what? No, what? We're leaving this flat and we're leaving this town. And if something ever happens to change you, you know our number, but we don't have one. So maybe you know some people who know where we are. <laughs> tell them what you want to tell them before we go. All right, All right tell, tell me. Let me see your pretty ears while you're talking. This is really important, OK? That's right. Come in close, Dad. Don't ever forget that. Puppy! Oh! oh good girl! All right, lay down, lay down. Excellent. The audience is full of empathy and sympathy for the main character. <laughs> Just as I intended. All right, uh, that night he's lying in bed. Uh, we see uh, well, the camera's above him in bed, and uh, he wakes up, and next to him there's a strange man in a white suit lying in bed next to him. Uh, so, uh, yeah, the two of you are the character. All right, here we go. And... Action shot from above. Really, this one? <coughs> oh. Okay. <laughs> Chester! Yes. Hi. Yes, uh, uh, I don't believe we've met. So I'm Azakaya. Very nice to meet you. I'm, you. I'm kind of an angel. Yes, you certainly are. Did we have that kind of fun? Uh, being an angel. Really? A Brit? A Brit? They, there's the most... Okay. Uh, Chester, I'm here to uh, give you something. I, I, really? I, I, I don't want to get personal, but I believe I was a bit drunk last night mm -hmm. and I made a big mistake. Oh, yeah. Right? No, that's what I told him. He, he, see, the big man, God, wants to give me a gift to the most virtuous, kindest, most responsible man in the world. Shall we phone him? 
Uh, yeah, I, I have already double checked this, and he says it's you. So he says it's me. Yeah, I know, right? I, I think he's not watching that carefully. Yeah. Um, oh, I am that most of the time, and this I'm around my wife. Mm, it's yeah. all the time. Or or around American women who you just proposition in the middle of nowhere. Yeah, she was. Pretty. I've been watching you. I know you were. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm, yes. From where? Oh, all were you in the, the bar? Place. Yeah, yeah. I was in the bar. I was on the street. I was in that uh, that woman's house who you were repairing her telephone. Oh, what was that about? Uh, just a little repair. Are, oh, you a, oh, yeah. are you a stalker? I'm an angel. I'm, you know, that's what they call it now, angel. <laughs> we call it stalker. Wow. Wow. Okay. Well, watch this. I can push you out of the bed without even touching you. No, no. You can't. <laughs> oh, my. How'd you do that? Because I'm an angel. I've got the powers of angels and God in the heavens and blah, 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 blah. Look, okay, so here's the thing. God wants me to give you the powers of, well, him. Really? Yeah. The powers of God? Yeah, yeah. Like, to me. The Almighty. Well, that's nice. You know, do something right in fucking life. He seems to think so. Ooh, I like his taste. All right, but here's the thing. Here's the thing. Tester, right, right, are you listening to me? Right here, I'm right here. I'm back in bed with you. Okay, we're we're talking a lot of power here, right? It seems like quite a lot. Of I mean, power. this is the same guy Ultimate who power. made a platypus. <laughs> I could do that. You could, but you wouldn't just, want to. You just step on a bird's beak. <laughs> yeah, that's that's, that's how we did it. <laughs> With a bird and an otter and put them together, and it was weird. Really? Listen, Chester, I'm right here. You have a chance here to do something good with your life. Yes, Angel. Azakiah. Azakiah. I have a name. I didn't know that. You said you was an angel, Azakiah. I said my name. I introduced myself. I'm sorry, I wasn't listening. I was drunk. See, this is why I'm telling you. Right. Really? All right. All right. All right. I thought it's a win. Where right. do I get the powers? Right now. Right now. Right. <laughs> It hurts a little bit. Whoa. It hurts just a little bit. But, good news is, now you're invincible, so... <laughs> yeah! Uh, maybe I'm a bit allergic. Are you allergic to the power of God? Alright, we now go to the dark place where he works at a dark telephone repairman warehouse. And uh, his boss is there, and the guy he works with, and uh, he'll show up in a little while. Uh, not sure if what happened to him last night was a dream or if it really happened. And action. Boys, where's Chester? I don't know, he's usually here by now. I saw that bloody fat bastard falling asleep again, I think. So we're putting in phones here. It doesn't look like anyone fucking lives here. Watch your mouth. You're talking to your superior. I don't want to hear any cussing out of here, you bloody gobshite. Did you just call me a gobshite? I'm your boss. I'm entitled. You snod cracker. Oh! <sighs> Sorry, I had to walk all the way with well, 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 if it isn't Per Noel coming to pay us a visit, is it December 25th already? Uh, not that again. Listen, I, 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 I'm sorry I'm late. I, I just, I had an experience last oh, night. Oh, hey, yeah. Uh, Big dream. Oh, oh, yes, yes. Oh, I bet you did. Oh, I, I did. I actually did, you know. And God came down with an angel. We were in bed together. We didn't have sex, though. <laughs> Purely platonic. But it gave me a few things. You know, when you drink that warm milk at night, it shouldn't check to see if it's expired. I... Rabbit! <laughs> I can't believe I did that. Coworker! <laughs> see, you don't have any power at all. Oh, it was just. <laughs> did you see if I had powers or not? <laughs> And <laughs> boss. Okay, yeah, that. I'll admit that was. That's a little weird. So now, who are we talking to here? Huh? huh? Obviously, someone who can turn other people into a platypus. That's right. So I might be a bit late tomorrow, too. Do you have a problem with that? No, 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 no. I didn't think so. And how was that little, uh, 
chicky you were down with last night, the American. You have her address? Oh, do, do you want it? Yeah, so I could get uh, it, it to you. It would be nice. It would be nice to have her yes. address, if you don't mind. Yes, and I know a few new moves that I could tell you that I don't also. believe I need to learn. Yeah, probably more. not, because you do miracles. Oh, I'll get that. Could be God. <laughs> <laughs> Hello? Uh, wait a minute, I'll use the other phone. Sorry. <laughs> You know, when you're working miracles, it's 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 difficult. Um, he, he. Hello. I'm sorry. Yes, yes, they are. Uh huh. I should be the boss from now on. They would be working for me. For free. Well, is it that funny? I'll tell them. Thanks, God. Was that, was that God? That was God. Oh, she hadn't hung up. I have some things I want to talk to him about. Oh, he only talks to me. Thank you very much. And guess what? I'm the boss here. Did this you... egg come out of my bum? Yeah, it did. Don't eat it. <laughs> All right, fade out, fade out. All right, uh, we now go to the uh, office where uh, the cute American girl happens to work when she's here in England. And uh, <laughs> since she has magical powers, she knows where it is, so he goes to woo her with his magical powers. And uh, we'll see that in action. Don't sit under the Sorry, I didn't call beforehand, but I just wanted to surprise you. I love redheads, and I'm here for your pleasure. <laughs> you think that I fell down and got amnesia? <laughs> Works for me. <laughs> did you or did you not yesterday say that you were married? Well, that was yesterday. See, something has happened. Yes, yes. Um, we've sold the house. The wife and I are getting a divorce. And my daughter's having her beautiful ears pierced. Don't lie to me, Chester. In America, the women are progressive, but we're not loose floozies. But of course you're not. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I, 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 I've got powers. I have powers. And, I, and, and I've always loved, uh, when I first met you, always loved that feeling that came back when I saw you. Oh, Chester, really? you're adorable, really, but I don't forgive liars, ever. Really? Really. Well, then, take this table. What is happening? <laughs> <laughs> Chester, make it stop, make it stop. Stop, table, stop. Believe me now, if I said I had powers. Table? You couldn't do it again! Oh, yes, even higher this time! Oh. Table! Yes! Oh. Yes! Oh. Table down! Oh, Chester! Chair! Oh. Chair! Oh. Chair! Oh. Chair! Oh. Chair. Oh. Please, Chester, stop, stop, stop! Oh, it's turning! Have a seat. <laughs> what does this mean, Chester? This means that I love you. And I want somebody as kind and as beautiful as you. Oh, Chester, don't you know? Power. Power can't make a person love a person. Ah! Ooh! <laughs> really, you can't use your miracles on that? I haven't tried yet. Well, it won't work. Wait, wait, you see, wait. I don't love you. But, but, but I, have, I have powers. I told you I have powers. Go away, Chester. Really? Why don't you try and work a miracle on me? Love me! <laughs> Chester. Yes. Uh, I love you so terribly, terribly much. I knew, I knew that you would, and I'll be better 
for you. I'll be more intelligent. You want intelligence? I'll give you intelligence. More intelligence. <laughs> intelligence takes longer. <laughs> Why, Chessie, you're the most perfect person I ever did meet. And you, dear, are the most perfect young lady I have ever met. Oh. Fade out, fade out. <laughs> Uh, meanwhile, Chester's uh, ex-family, his ex-wife, and, and his daughter with the pretty ears are, uh, they're out on the street, and, uh, they, uh, yeah, they, they, they're reading a newspaper about all the crazy things that are going on with, uh, their, uh, with their ex, uh, Chester. All right, and action. Mom, please read out loud. <laughs> Help us! Well, right here it says, Your father. Oh, darling, you can read it. I'm sure you can. I have faith in you. Oh, Mum! All right, I'll give it a go. Please do. To hear. Chester. Chester. Chester, that's Dad. That is Dad. Chester. And there's a photo of him. Yeah. My Dad looks oh, quite look. good. He does. He's he's floating. It says strange things occurring all over London. Man said to have magical miracle powers. Peace on earth. Dad has miracle powers. Chairs are lifting. I'm here. What the? <laughs> Before you. Now I own the company that I used to work for. And I found a woman that appreciates me. So, she doesn't dress me as well. <laughs> but she still loves me. And the divorce is now final. Oh, I feel as though I, I have no rings or life or any reason to go on because I'm not a married woman. <laughs> Silly, it just happened like that. Mom, we had nothing before and now we have less. How did that happen? I always tried to treat you well, even though I was mean spirited and kept my own body from you ever since she was born and, and yelled at you for drinking and told you you were nothing but a worthless piece of scudder monkey. And unfortunately that's what I liked about you. That and of course her ears. Nobody says earmuffs. Nobody said earmuffs that time. Listen, it doesn't matter. Oh my goodness! Only say nice things to me. It's so good to see you. Well, it's awfully good to see you. You're looking very fancy these days, and I, I've forgotten to tell you that I really did love you all that time that I was saying those horrible, horrible things to you. You loved me? I did, and... And the greatest gift you ever gave me was our beautiful daughter that you'd need to spend a little more time talking to. Oh, Mom. But, but she would never talk to me. Well, she was always worried about her looks or, or the bright light in the sky. But you're so smart and so full of miracles. Maybe you can make her smart as well. What, what do you that mean seems not awfully smart? hard, even for a guy. <laughs> what do you mean I'm not smart? You've you always told me I was smart. I feel like I'm looking like, like, like I'm looking good. By Jove, my goodness, it's quite bright out here. How are you, Mother? Good, good to see you. Hello. Hello, chap. Father, so great to see you. You're looking wonderful. More rich now, as I can see. Not his clothes are quite expensive. Look at you. Oh, don't you look fantastic? What's two plus two? Two plus two is four. My gosh, the oh, Look at this. Did you say four? Two, three. Go, go. Look, there's so many things happening. Father, it appears you've been quite busy. <laughs> Me, 
daughter, with your, with your great wiseness, you remember me as well, don't you? Your oh. love for me. Oh, Father, I could never love anything more than you. <laughs> well, oh, oh, I'm just so overcome. Excuse me. Um, <laughs> you, you said you loved me. Why, yes. Up in the air! Up in the air! <laughs> Damn it! You're too smart. Think in a world of fantasy. Could it be the right thing? Fantasy? Darling's beautiful. Yes. Everything you do is correct. Oh. Then come back. I'm not sure. Back to Earth. This is, ah. this is correct and right. I, I. But this is the dream family I've always wanted. Jasper, like, darling. Oh. I've been waiting for you in the car. Well, wait there more! All right, but I love you. I had a great time last night. And oh, well, then come back, come back, come back. I love back. you, Chester. I love you. Oh, we've been married for so very long. But I love you, Chester. Oh, you do? Isn't he wonderful? He's so terrible. He's fantastic. I love him. I can't be without him. Would you like to meet my daughter? Yes, yeah, 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 yeah. But there's some people who are not happy with what's going on. Uh, uh, this, like this guy. <laughs> and maybe another guy who's like a regular guy. <laughs> All right, and action. Alms for the newly poor. A pound for the newly poor. I once ran a thriving telephone repair concern. Until a bearded man came and took it all away with his boogity boo powers. I'll give you a hat for a half pence. That half was half my pence. hat. That was my hat. It's my when... hat now, finders keepers. Possession is nine tenths of the law, my friend. A, hat, a quarter pence, a hay penny. Whatever happened, check it for uh, what you get. Civets. I'm going to Jack see the miracle man. I'm going to see the miracle man. Don't, don't go oh. see him. A miracle man. Well, he put us all out of business. His miracle consisted of taking me stone, turning him into some sort of bird otter, and making him crap an egg. Boy, well, he, he took my business, and he made it so everybody had a TV. And it was a whole new thing. I was going to plan on making lots of money, but now everybody has one. He turned me into a rabbit and another guy into a platypus. It was f filthy. Boy. <laughs> but you're better now, right? I'm not a rabbit you anymore. Nice never... Blind! Oh, son of a Hello. bitch! Oh, right, right. I, I need a cane. Son a of cane a... Cane for half pence. Right. Can you give me a heightened sense of sight and smell too? Hey, right. come back here. We'll show you what's what. All right, big up. Big up, I'm going to visit this All right, we go to the fancy castle where, the, where Chester lives now with all of the people he's enslaved with his magical powers. It made them love him. And maybe he's not as happy as he thought he'd be. Maybe he is. I don't know. Let's find out. Action. Yes, I know you love me. So I thought I'd make you some pudding and some Yorkshire pudding and some other I've had pudding. pudding seven days in a row, for God's sake. Chester, you don't look at all like Santa. <laughs> Keep saying that I'm not convinced yet. You don't look at all like Santa. Yeah, yeah. I love your girlfriend. I'm so glad you brought her into our lives. Love, love. It's all about love. You love me. They love me. I love you, Chester. I thought maybe you would. I love you more than I should. <laughs> Chester, darling, quit moving. I need to be near you always. Mm -hmm. Chester, I need to be near you too. too close, everyone. Allow me close. near you, Chester. Oh, me crazy, oh, Chester. Oh, so too much love, oh, Chester. Chester. I brought more angel, angel. Freeze, freeze. Angel, angel. They're driving me crazy. Yeah. All of this love and it's. So insincere. Really? 
Yes! You, you force people to love you and you think it's insincere. Well, I thought that love was love and that it would help me. I've never had it in my life before. At least I thought I did. Chester, that's why we chose you. Come around in front of everybody here. Yes. Upstaging everyone. Yeah, well, <laughs> you are now the most important man in the world, after all. That's true. When you made yourself the wealthiest man in the world and took the money from everybody else, did you have even a second's worth of thought as to how it would affect everybody? No. No. No, I did not. You didn't. Do, do you know how it would affect everybody? I, I'm seeing how it affects them, and I see how they affect me. Let and me show you for a moment the rest of the world. See that boy over there? Yes. No, 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 that one. Oh, sorry. The one next to him? The, the blonde one. Yes. 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 And do you see his mother? Uh, the, yes. Yes. Look how sad she is. Oh. How Wh sad she is. Why is she boy. so sad, Angel? Because her little boy can't even eat, Chester. Tell him to open his mouth. <laughs> open your mouth, boy! He has no food to eat, Chester. Banana! Man does not live on bananas alone, Chester. The lesson here, okay. There's a lesson. Oh. All right. You took all that away from them without even thinking about it. You made her and her and him and her and him love you without even thinking about it. Who? Her and her and him and her and him? Yes, her and her and him and her and him. <laughs> Damn it. A whole lot of them love you, but they don't even know why they love you. And it's not the genuine love, the love that comes from inside deep. It is in the front of them, right. Angel, in the front of them. I wanted it deeper than that. Yes. Do you know why he chose you? I didn't want to ask because I thought he might change his mind. No, he chose you because you used to be a good man, Chester. But I thought everyone hated me and <laughs> worked me hard. And the freeze is wearing off. Do you want to do it again? Or do you want to do it? I, I forgot about that. Uh, back to your regular life. I'm sorry, I'm so. You used to be a good man, Chester. I don't feel good. One last chance. One last chance. One Chester. last chance. I love you, Father. I love you so much. You made me cry. Chester. 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 Yourself and me. 
No, no, me. No, no she said Stop. me first. Oh. I don't, I, I'm loving I, myself actually, first. I actually don't know why you're still here. Please! The, I was just fixing you. You can't do that. Do it for me, darling. Do it for me. Well, I want to make this clear. He said love, and I'm the one. I, you're not the... You are... Oh, freeze. Darling, yourself and your daughter. That's yeah. true love. Even if you don't believe it, she's smart. She's or nervous, witty. she's shaking. She's she's about to cry because she knows that it's true. Look, I have to be I'm honest freeze. with you. When you said freeze, I thought you meant me, so I just did it. I actually don't know who has to Listen, I, I I want I want more than this. I want more love than just her love. I want your love. Again? Always. Like it was in the beginning. And forever. When you were drunk. I was drinking because of the happiness I have for you. I believe you. With all of my heart, I believe that you were drunk and said all of those things just because you were happy. So Can we please bring her into our lives again? She's our maid. I've made her our maid oh, a year ago. Oh, lucky me. I'm your maid. And these are gardener, our chicken catcher. No, and don't he's say it. not here. Look, darling, they can't a gardener. See. They can't he's see. not smart either. What? Do you see a little bit of a spark? I don't know which one we're talking about. This one. The blood. The blood. I do. I always thought I recognized a kindred dumb. <laughs> Come here. I want to spread the joy of trueness to all of you. Darling, oh. you had magical powers, and you could do beautiful, beautiful miracles. And now tell us what you learned from having those powers. Yes, oh, tell, us tell, tell, us tell, tell us a lesson. 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 Tell us a l